Hello everyone and welcome back to our course. In this lecture we're going to build a new Xcode app with HomeKit. So join me in Xcode. We're going to select a new iOS app. Let's give this app a name. We'll call this My First Home and then select a team and an organization identifier such as com.beta.beta HomeKit. You want this to be a unique identifier for your app. All right, so there's our bundle identifier. Our interface is going to be Swift UI and our language Swift. We don't need core data or tests for the project. Then hit next and now select a location where to save the project. Then press create and your app will be launched. We can hide some of the unnecessary tabs and here we have the default app that's created whenever you launch an iOS app. So we have the app name, My First Home. Then we have the project folder. We have My First Home app, a struct. Then we have another file, the content view. Currently, the app just says, Hello World. Then we have our assets and our preview content. So let's go to our app, the top level file. Here we can see project details. So we can see things like our app name and our iOS version. In this version, we're using iOS 15.2 for iPhone or iPad. And for the simulator, it's best to use a real device. But if you want to test on a real device, then you have to have the Apple developer account which is $99 a month. So if you don't have that, then just use the simulator. Okay, we are going to select a phone here for the simulator. All right, so next we need to go into the signing and, and capabilities tab and make sure you have a team selected. Then here, select your target, which is your app. And then we're going to add the HomeKit accessory. So we're going to add HomeKit to the target. So for that, we have to click on the button Capability. Then here in Capabilities, we're going to search for HomeKit. Enabling the HomeKit capability allows your app to interact with HomeKit accessories and create home configurations. So we're going to double click on HomeKit in order to add it to our list here. Okay, so now we have HomeKit added to our project. So we'll be able to use HomeKit capabilities. Join me in our next lecture where we will continue the project. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.